What's up guys, Nick Noke here, welcome back to the YouTube channel. And in this video we're talking about something that I know stops a lot of people from progressing, and that's fear. Before I get into this video, Bike School is having a Black Friday sale, so make sure you click the link in the description and go sign up for Bike School. Because uh, if you wanna to progress to the next level, it's pretty much the way. <laughs> no, for real, go check it out. All right, into the video. So the biggest misconception about fear is uh, I think a lot of people that are beginners and people that are starting out, they think that people who are really, really good have no fear. And that's just wrong. Let me tell you that no matter what level you're at, you're still gonna have fear. You're still gonna be afraid to do things. Jumping new jumps is scary. Trying new tricks is scary because you gotta think, like, yeah, jumping your first dirt jump with a gap is scary or doing your first bar spin is scary, but as you get better, the jump that you're now gonna hit for the first time is bigger. The trick that you're now gonna do for the first time is harder, it's more dangerous. Like, everyone has fear. When some of the best slope style riders in the world show up to a new contest course that they've never ridden before, Everyone is a little bit afraid to jump the jumps for the first time. But, you know, they can reflect on past experiences and be like, well, I know I can do it and I've seen other people do it. I know it works. So they, they trust their bike skills. And then they jump through the line and then a couple more times going through the line, they're doing, they're doing their basic tricks. And they get comfortable on those tricks and they start doing a little bit more difficult tricks. And then they build up adrenaline and then... In practice, they're going for their hardest tricks, but that doesn't change the fact that when the day started or when they first showed up to that event, they were afraid to hit those jumps, and now they're doing some of their biggest tricks on them. So really, it's all about you know understanding your fear and understanding how you can work through it and build your confidence and your comfort level up enough to where the fear is not stopping you from doing something. As I said, it doesn't make you not afraid, but it builds you to this level where you can deal with it. I like to think of it as, you know, say you're, you're at the bottom of a stair set, okay? And you're about to walk up the stairs. And at the very bottom is like, you know, I'm very afraid. I've got nothing to go off of right now. I'm just, I'm, I'm afraid. And the top is like, you're done. You've done whatever was scary and you finished. You were successful. And, you know, sometimes that stair set is only five steps tall. And sometimes it's 20 steps tall. But you got to just go one step at a time. And to me, I like to think of it as like every step is getting you more comfortable. And the closer you get to the top step, the further you are from the bottom step. Let's say we're at the bottom of the stair set. And our top step is a new trick. Let's just use, let's say it's a cork 720. Like, I want to do a cork 720 in a session today, and I want to land it to the resi. So I'm at the bottom step right now. I haven't even put my foot on it. And I'm like, okay, I'm really afraid to do a cork 7, but obviously let's not just get right into the cork 7, so let's just ride around a little bit. We ride around, we warm up. We have some fun, and this is getting us up those first, those first couple steps. You know, we find some good music that's gonna get us up a couple more steps, and we're just vibing. Then I'm gonna do some of my harder tricks. I'm gonna move up a few more steps. I'm kind of building this adrenaline, building it. And you know, once I get ready to do a cork seven, it's like, okay, I've done it in the airbag. That's a couple more steps. I know I can do it, and I'm still afraid, so I'm still holding on to, you know, that that first step down there at the bottom. But once I try it one time, boom, that's like two more steps. And then I get up and I'm like, okay, I was really close. I just need to make small adjustments. And that wasn't that bad when I crashed. So I'm not as afraid anymore. So now that bottom step is almost like not even in my mind anymore because I'm not as afraid since I already tried it. And then when I land it, boom, I'm at the top step. So you can see like there's, there's a lot of things that kind of have to be done in order to manage 
the fear that I maybe had at the beginning of that session. I like to think of it as fear is defeated by action. And action doesn't always mean just immediately being like, hey, I'm afraid of Cork 720, I'm just going to do it right now. No, you've got to, you've, sometimes you've got to build up to it. And sometimes the action that you need to do is move on. Like sometimes you just got to be like, hey, this is scaring me right now. I'm going to either go do something different and come back to it later, or you can come back to it next week. You can come back to it tomorrow. You can come back to it a year from now. Sometimes something that seems really scary right now might not seem as scary the next time you give it thought because your experience and your comfort level will be different at that point. Now, you know, to build off of the, the stair thing I said a little bit ago, you know, sometimes if you're afraid to do something, you just need to do other things that are similar. If you're trying to do maybe a new 360 combo, you know, do a 360, do a few 360s, do a few other 360 combos that you know how to do well and build up the special meter. You know, special meters like kind of like your adrenaline level. Get yourself comfortable. Get things going. I have a friend who is always talking about the special meter. And when he does a new trick or something that's scary, he'll always do an entire line, like a contest run of tricks before doing that big one. That big scary maneuver will be at the very end because he's trying to just build up his adrenaline and be hyped. And, uh, you know, some people, that, that just works for them. For myself, I'm a big supporter of, like, just get the first one out of the way. If you're jumping a new dirt jump for the first time, you just got to try it once. Once you try it, the next one will be less scary. The one after that will be less scary. As I said, you're climbing up those steps. It gets less scary every time you take a step forward. When I'm doing a new trick, you know, I'm pretty good at crashing. I am capable of getting out of crashes very well, and I am also you know, really aware in the air. So when something goes wrong, generally I'm able to fix it pretty well. And so for me, if I feel like my odds are pretty good that I'm not going to get really hurt, I will just try the trick. And once I try it, as I said, it like builds me up and I'm hyped and then I can move towards landing that trick, learning it. And so, like I said, I'm a big advocate of just doing it, just kind of sending it. But as I said, defeating fear with action doesn't have to mean just doing it. As I said, you can do similar things. You can build up that special meter. You can, you know, just actually move on. That's an action. Moving on and trying not to think about it until the next time, that's an action. Like there's a lot of actions you can do to like manage your fear. Because as I said, everyone has fear. And as you gain more experience, you'll be able to manage that fear better. As I said, I know that I'm good at crashing, so to me the idea of crashing doesn't always scare me that much. Someone who may not be as good at crashing or has a track record of getting really hurt every time they crash, then they're probably not going to want to go the route that I go and risk crashing a few times on something that's probably unnecessary to crash on. Now, say it's something like a, a big drop where it's like, I'm pretty much either going to land this drop or I'm going to really get hurt. Like I can't crash a couple times and then come back and land it. Like it's got to be like a first time thing. That's scary. It scares the crap out of me. But what I do is I pretty much just put myself in this mindset of similar drops that I've done or, you know, something similar and visualize how it went, how it felt and the fact that it was successful and once you can do that, you can kind of visualize yourself on the new feature, the new drop, and be like, okay, it's going to feel somewhat like this, and I did that no problem. And you just start trusting in your skills, and you start pounding on the bars, you clap your hands together, you take a couple deep breaths, and then you just yell dropping. And something about that, like once you are confident that you're going to do it, as soon as you yell dropping and you go, all that fear is gone because you're in this mindset of just like, it's happening and nothing is going to stop me from doing this right now. 
you know, if you're a beginner and just starting out, fear is going to get at you. You know, you're going to need to build up these experiences and learn how you're able to manage your fear. But my biggest tip is when you're first starting out, don't let fear like get to your head. Don't dwell on it. You know, if something scares you and you're not comfortable doing it, just don't like if you're afraid to throw your first bar spin, either do it or don't. Don't, you know, don't be mean to yourself. Don't be hard on yourself that you're not throwing it. Even if your friend is throwing it, either do it or don't. Like if you just do it, each one after that will be more simple. Or just don't do it. Come back to it another day. Come back to it later. Again, just take some action. Learn something else. Do something else. It doesn't matter, but the more you just get used to just doing, the less the fear is gonna bother you. So again, a new jump, do it or don't. Dropping into a big quarter for the first time, do it or don't. And if you don't, as I said, don't dwell on it. Like you'll just learn that over time, you find out what gets you motivated, what builds your confidence, what gets you more comfortable. Because as I said, the whole thing is that when we're scared, we're at the bottom and we're just trying to do actions that get us to the top step. And if you just think about it like that, like you won't let fear ruin your sessions or stop you from progressing because you're actually going to be just saying, hey, I'm afraid of this. Let's either fix that and conquer it or let's find a way around. Let's find a way around. Let's let's build our skills. Let's build our experiences and let's overcome the fear. So this is kind of a rant, but I um, hope you liked the video, and uh, we'll see you next time. See ya. It's happening kind of mindset, and there's nothing in your head that's going to stop it from happening. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I kind of didn't know where I was going with that one. <laughs>